Hey guys, my name is Kyle Lint from Austin Stone Worship, and I'd like to talk about um, the song The Center of It All from our record Everflow. Um, so what I'd like to do is just kind of walk you through very briefly the parts that I play and kind of some of the sounds that I do. You can grab my Big Sky and Timeline uh, patches if you want to use these exact same sounds. I'll just kind of walk you through the parts and then we'll do a run through of the whole song um, so you can see the entire song all together at once. So the first uh, main part of the song is the little hook that starts the song. And for that, I'm using a spring reverb and just a very, very quick um, delay, I mean, super delay, kind of like a, a slap delay. Um, so it sounds like this. That's what the sound is. And then the little part goes like this. And then it repeats that several times. It's kind of a weird little thing to get used to, but once you play it a few times, your kind of sense memory takes over and you're able um, to do it quickly. The next part um, after that is the, the verse, and I use the same sound, the spring reverb and just a slap delay. And this is a very keys driven song, so I'm just trying to stay out of the way of what Dietrich is playing. Um, and so the verse is just a very simple part. It's just um, it's two notes on the first verse, and I add a little extra part on the, on the second verse. So the verse is just... Just like that, over and over. And then on the next verse, I just add a, an E note. So that's just the verse part. Um, out of the verse, it goes into the pre-chorus, and I switch a patch, um, and it goes into this, this pad main, which I use a lot, and a, um, a ping pong delay that kind of goes left and right. It's a, it goes from a very tight sound to a very, very big atmospheric sound. And so that part um, on the pre-chorus sounds like this. <laughs> And then the lead in into the chorus, I put on a big heavy overdrive. So that's the pre chorus, and then from there it goes into a chorus part, which again, the keys are super busy, so guitar is very, very sparse and very simple. And it's just octaves way up high, starting on an A. So the chorus is. that again and then it goes right back into this other patch for the turnaround like that um, and then the last part really on this tune is the bridge and for the bridge I'll jump to another patch um, which is the same delay this ping pong delay but it's a hall um, reverb and the bridge is kind of the same notes over and over but it, it kind of just changes how I play it so I start with the neck pick up and start like this. This is, this is kind of double time. It actually goes a little bit longer like this. And it does that a couple times and then I'll jump over to the bridge pick up and do that same part as octaves. there it falls into the down course which is kind of just drums and vocals um, and then out of that down course it goes into a really really heavy uh, kind of still a down course but a little bit building and for that I'll keep this big heavy super bolt on um, and I'll jump back to my original patch which is that spring reverb and so that little down course part sounds like this it's just all, all on the low E string <laughs> goes back into the chorus, 
and I'll jump into that big reverb again. Then it goes back into the chorus, and then it ends with the turn uh, one more time. So that's how to play the parts for Center of It All, and now we'll, um, I'll run through the whole song for you.